Hello and welcome back to the Nightcap. I'm Josh Rimmer on NextSportsStar.com. Joining us on the line right now, former Montreal Expo and a man who's leading the charge here, trying to bring a baseball team back to Montreal, and that site is called MontrealBaseballProject.com. Joining us on the line right now, Warren Cromarty. Crow, thanks for taking the time to be with us. Josh, it's good to be here with you, pal, and uh, talk a little baseball. Exactly, and uh, Crow right away, out of the gate, uh, tell us about Montreal Baseball Project, especially for those who have yet to see it. I know it's been all over. You guys are getting a lot of press out of it, that's for sure, and that's what we need right now. I'm a strong believer uh, that there should be a baseball team back in Montreal. As you know, uh, myself growing up there as a kid, uh, you know, being around you guys and seeing how baseball worked in Montreal, it definitely can work again. Tell us about uh, the Montreal Baseball Project, Crow. Well, well, the Montreal Baseball Project is what I started a year ago, um, and our mission, our main objective is to bring Major League Baseball back to Montreal. So I, uh, I have a group, I have a group that I've organized and some business uh, leaders in the city of Montreal, and uh, after hearing uh, what the fans uh, uh, were missing after eight years and having a pulse on the city... Uh, I decided to grab the bull by the horns here and uh, try to shake things up in Montreal and change the attitude as well from eight years ago and, and they start talking on some positive rhetoric talking about baseball because as you know, base, uh, Montreal has uh, had baseball before. Uh, Jackie Robinson played in uh, Montreal. Uh, started his career in Montreal when they had a triple-A for the Dodgers, and so did Roberto Clemente. Uh, Montreal is a five, five-tool city. And what I mean by that is, 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 you know, being in Montreal, I spent some time in Montreal. I spent some time last summer in Montreal, and uh, I got a little pulse on the city, and I felt more like a scout almost, looking for that elusive five-two player just, you know, going around listening to what people have to say, going around listening to look at the spots. And, and I can say after a year and a half, spending some time there now within the city, Montreal is a 5-2 city. And I, and I say that in regards to the starting off with the history that the uh, Montreal has with Jackie Robinson, as I said, with Roberto Clemente. Uh, you look at the uh, passionate fan base that Montreal has with the Canadians and the Alouettes and the uh, Montreal Impact, the uh, professional Major League Soccer team they have there. Also, you look at the population. There's 4 million people in Montreal, one of the largest cities in North America without a baseball team. And um, you look at number four, you have the corporate uh, entity there. You have the corporate uh, uh, structure there that can add on with, with, with Montreal. And number five, we got me, number five. <laughs> So, with that said, uh, we can handle Major League Baseball again. Listen, Seattle had it and got it back. Milwaukee lost it and got it back. Uh, Washington lost it and got it back. So, we understand the situation in Montreal. There's a lot of things changed since eight and a half years ago. But Montreal, almost nine years now since Montreal uh, lost uh, Major League Baseball due to the... Well, the state, for instance, right now, there's no... We didn't have revenue sharing, which they have now, Major League Baseball. You didn't have the social media uh, as they have now in Major League Baseball. You don't have the wild card, the extra playoff team yes. to have a Major League Baseball. You don't, you know, so, and also the dollar is a lot better in Montreal now than it ever was. So, and then, you know, you have the internet. So, it wasn't even internet eight, nine years ago. So, if it was, it was just starting at the beginning. So, with these things uh, have changed, it's and uh, put a different perspective on Montreal. And it was never about the fans showing up in Montreal. It was never about the fans. I played there eight, almost eight years, and we drew two million dead fans a year. So uh, um, I saw 25, 30,000, 35,000 people in that stand when I played there. So it was never about the fans. So those are some of the, the things that we have going. And, and as you mentioned, that the press has, been, uh, has picked things up, but we still have a long way to go. We've... We've announced uh, a, uh, a press conference about a couple weeks ago in regards to what we're going to do now with the group 
regards to uh, where, where we're going to do a, a financial feasibility, a feasibility study and a uh, survey to, uh, to see if this whole project is viable. Um, we feel good about the survey. We feel uh, the results will be coming back another uh, couple weeks or so. That will give us an uh, indication exactly uh, the fans' input is, and then they give us an input as far as next steps to go to, uh, to try and make this thing happen. We understand the situation with the stadium and with Major League Baseball. Um, they uh, require downtown stadium. We're familiar with that. Uh, we understand the, the Olympic Stadium is not going to be uh, uh, a valuable place to play. So we understand uh, the protocol with, with Major League Baseball. So but, but what I've just told you is pretty much where we are and, um, and who we are. Mm. Now, Warren, have you guys at all uh, brought this up? Have you tried to uh, get a meeting at all with Bud Selig? Has he been involved in anything yet? Uh, have you guys wrote a letter or, uh, you know, or at least express your interest that you want to bring back the Expos to Montreal? We have... Uh, a, a line of communication with Major League Baseball, and yes, we de- we have to do the protocol in regards to what we're doing. So uh, Major League Baseball uh, does know what we're doing, mm-hmm. and um, uh, it's pretty much it. I mean, uh, it's all that has to be done and said at this particular point in time. So it's all about protocol, and yes, we do have a line of communication with Major League Baseball. That's great. That's great. Uh, Warren Cromartie joining us on the line, uh, former Montreal Expo, uh, as well as uh, the man that's uh, spearheading uh, this organization, uh, Montreal Baseball Project, to try to bring back a baseball team to Montreal in Major League Baseball. Major League, Major League, Major League Baseball, baseball team. Because anything less is not uh, what we're looking for here. Uh, we definitely want to see Major League Baseball uh, back and also free Yuppie from the Canadians game. So. Yeah, well, you know, good for him. He had to, he had to do something in regards to uh, the Expos and loss. So, we understand the, uh, Josh, we understand the, the, uh, the protocol, the things we have to do. We, we just had a premiere of the Jackie Robinson movie in yes. Montreal. We were the only city, the only city in Canada with the premiere of the Jackie Robinson movie in Montreal. We had a sellout at the movies. Wow. And, and as you know, this is where Jackie Robinson started yep. in Montreal. So... Not bad for a city without a team. And, and, and give me another example. I think Montreal Expo's apparel is in the top ten apparel of Major League Baseball. You see the kids all over, especially in Montreal and abroad, wearing Expo caps and apparel. Not bad for for a city that doesn't have a baseball team. So, you know, somewhere along the lines, I, we, I think this is a long shot. Mm-hmm. But I'm, but I'm going to take this shot. <laughs> And, and, uh, and uh, give it my best shot and uh, see what happens here to, to make this happen. Well, I think it's fantastic what you're doing, Warren. And I wear my, I still have my Expos gear, and I wear it proudly. I was wearing it last night on the show, wearing a Gary Carter uh, Expos uh, Mitchell and Ness jersey, along with uh, my uh, my pinwheel uh, Montreal Expos ha- cap, uh, which I wear this stuff all the time. And I, I see it all the time in Toronto. I mean, we have the Blue Jays here, but there's a lot of transplanted, transplanted Montrealers oh, yeah. living in Toronto. And which brings me to my next question, Warren. I don't know if, if you've had anything to do with this or not, uh, but I know uh, that T- I think TSN in Montreal uh, has been getting together uh, – uh, some Montreal Expos fans to be here in Toronto on July the 20th against the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, and they want the Expos fans to make a strong statement at this game. And they just started doing this this past week, and they've already sold 200 tickets. Well, I'm familiar with the Expo Nation. That's what yes. it's called, the Expo Nation. They're like... Um uh, they're my, my, my side buddies here. We have 150,000 of those fans. Yes, they're, they, they're going to make this trip in July, uh, to, 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 to start short support as far as Montreal is concerned. So it's a good effort all the way around. We do have support. We're starting to gain momentum. We're going to start to gain momentum outside of, of, of Canada as well. And for those who wants to, 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 to uh, show your support, or uh, 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 get involved, we're trying to do, it, and I'll tell you the website to go to, it's the MontrealBaseballProject.com. That's Montreal 
www.baseballproject.com. And we got lots of things going on there. Uh, we'll keep you abreast what's going on with the with the drive, with the journey that we're on. to are trying to make this happen. And uh, I invite you to, to, to be a part of the, the website. Join the website. Join the fan club. Be a part of what we're trying to do because eventually – uh, the fans are going to have to show up. The fans are going to have to really be the ones that uh, are going to have to speak when their time comes once we get all this, uh, this uh, feasibility study start making our plans. So there will be a time when the fans are going to have to step up to the plate. Until that time, you can find us on MontrealBaseballProject.com. Josh, thank you for everything, pal. Awesome. Thank you, Warren. Take care, sir. Bye-bye. That was Warren Cromarty joining us on the line, former Montreal Expo, and again, a man who's doing a great job uh, with the MontrealBaseballProject.com, something that is uh, near and dear to my heart, as I'd love to see uh, uh, another team, uh, baseball team, Major League Baseball team in Montreal.